It is clear that currently students are struggling to meet the basic costs of living. As inflammation rises, the student benefits are not keeping up with these rising living costs. Students are only able to borrow just over $20 more than in 1999 to meet the costs of living. In 1999, students could borrow $150 to help cover the expenses if they did not qualify for any other government study benefit. Today, that has only risen $26.86, but in the past five years, rent for a five-plus bedroom house in Auckland City has increased by $100. So, so no, I haven't been able to afford anything. Sometimes I have to like, even borrow from flatmates, and yep. I'm pretty broke. Do you think you receive enough from StudyLink? Hell no. Do you think StudyLink understands the needs of students? Does StudyLink understand that every situation is different? I feel like they do it for majority group, they aim for a majority group of what majority of people would do and it's usually not the right, they usually under budget it. So you know, usually I'm getting not as much as I should be getting. I borrowed a bit of money just to help out with power bills and stuff. Just try to find a job, I didn't always have a job so I went and got one. If I'm hungry, I'm mm -hmm. going to get to get dizzy if I yeah. stay up too late. And yeah. That's where you have to take breaks and that means you can't study as long. Mm -hmm. yeah, and yeah can't put the same amount of work effort in. Just to be able to scrape through, like I think the amount they're giving now is just barely to be able to pay rent for most people. Students who qualify for the student allowance can receive up to a maximum of $216.86. Even though this is more than the students receive on the living costs, they are still struggling to survive. The average student has only $37 left after rent. Students are encouraged to get a job to help cover the costs of living but can only earn up to $211.96 before tax without it affecting their student allowance. Do you think that the age for the raise in the student allowance should be 18 instead of 24? Uh, yeah, I, I, do, I do. I do agree with that. There's, there's a huge gap between 18 and 24. Some kids that are 18 have absolutely nothing to do with their parents and they're supporting themselves. With study links, sort of control over your student allowance and, and things like that. Do you see any positives around those? I mean, there's, there's positives and ne negatives to the whole, the whole system that they have and everything that they offer, but I think there's more negatives than positives and uh, there's, there's a lot of complaints and just trying to understand why it's worked the way it is and why it's in place like that. Um, but I think definitely there needs to be some improvement. So if you could change things, what would be a few of the main things? I think the main thing that I think would work is to increase um, the, the age gap that they have um, for being 24 and getting the pay increase. I think definitely, even if it's put up to 21, that, that would work better for students. Um, but maybe even something um, to help 18 year olds who don't have anything to do with their parents will help because, I mean, it's all dependent on what their parents earn. And like I said, some kids just don't have anything to do with their parents. Even though having extra money from one or more part-time jobs is helpful, students are faced with juggling hours between working, going to class, studying and completing assignments. They are also faced with having limited to no social life. According to some university lecturers, more and more students in New Zealand are working long hours and also are having the added stress of study, as well as shouldering a massive debt at the end of their degree. Some students are struggling to finish their assignments on time as they can't afford to miss shifts if they want to pay their rent. Money plays a big part on the stress of students. It has a direct impact on their studies. It leaves them exhausted, sick, and unable to get the most out of their education.